Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Duel Masters games on the GBA. Duel Masters Senpai Legends might seem like a good competitor for Yu-Gi-Oh on the GBA, but it isn't. Even if Yu-Gi-Oh on the GBA isn't all that good, this one is even worse. But it has something that many Yu-Gi-Oh games should have, a tutorial. The game teaches you how to play. There is still a lot of trial and error until you get the hang of it, but having a tutorial makes things much easier. As for the card game itself, cards look ok, but on the GBA the devs had to simplify a lot. For example the fact that all spells use the same art seems a bit disappointing. And characters look like they were downloaded from DeviantArt. The story is extremely dumb. A ninja steals a card so your dad, instead of calling the police, sends you to a detective and then the detective tells you to win some duels and after, and after winning many duels you encounter the ninja and that's the plot in short. The AI is dumb and Duel Masters Kashido Showdown has more cards and a more interesting story but it also has 2 out of 3 battles which means that duels drag for much longer and since dueling itself hasn't been tweaked, just making something bad last longer won't work to make a game better. The more cards indeed are an improvement and the better story, but the main gameplay element, the duels, are still very bad, having the same shortcomings. And Duel Master's Shadow of the Code has more cards and smarter AI, the AI in the game at least tries to win this time, but the game is still bad. Still, it's the best out of the trilogy, because the AI at least tries to win in this game. But the Japanese versions are better. I still wouldn't recommend them to you, because they are pretty barebone, but still, in comparison to the western versions, they are better. First off, characters don't look like they were downloaded from DeviantArt, but look like in the anime and manga. And when dueling, you get a board. And to me it's more visually appealing than these sprites like in turn based RPGs, especially since many monsters look the same anyway in the western versions. It was pretty disappointing to see the gameplay like that. But here, where you get a table, it's better. And it looks better to me. The AI is better too. Actually in the Japanese versions the AI is pretty decent. Also in Invincible Advance you don't get that many bullshit stories, you jump straight into the action. You get some menus and quick dialogue, but the story component isn't all over the place and bad, like in the western versions. The game focuses more on dueling, and it does its job well. Dueling is good. And the second Japanese game, Shobu Kirifuda version, has the storyline taken directly from the Duel Masters Keto no Shinden Hen Manga, and has more cards. You get around 500 cards in this one, you still don't get many, but hey, it's really good for a GBA game. And Duel Masters 3 is in my opinion the best one. There are 600 cards in the games, the most cards out of all of the GBA games, the AI is competent, and the story is ok. You play as Shou Gudai, an athletic 9 year old boy who learned to play Duel Masters, he became Shobu's best pupil, and you need to defeat Dr. Sign and the mechanical version of Shobu. The game is great, and is the only one I recommend to play out of the GBA games as it excels on all fronts. And if you want to play some decent Duel Masters, stick only to the Japanese versions, because the western versions are horrible. 